good evening draven here and us extra stream this evening so let me just um change my camera i forgot to it's always too bright it forgets all the settings so many things to check <laughs> let me just get this thing here right it's a quick fix uh switch that off that off there that oh, looks a bit better okay all right here we go yeah doing an extra stream this evening for the next hour hour and a half um we are going to be looking at below the stone uh this is a game you've probably heard me mention numerous times in my other streams uh this is a game that um, caught my attention back in 2019 when it was um, there was a Kickstarter for it. Uh, unfortunately, the kick, first Kickstarter wasn't successful, but um, the indie company bounced back and they had a second Kickstarter in 2021, which was a massive hit and uh, it was funded very quickly. Um, the game has still been worked on just now. Um, I have a preview version it's an uh, alpha version um which i have been sent by below the stone to have a look at this evening um this is possibly going to be a demo that's going to be available um either that or early access um in the second quarter of next year 2023 and um, they're also going to be at pax east in boston with the demo so you can play it there if you're at the show um, this is a pixel art roguelike, uh, all about dwarves and the quest for the deepest depths. A place where each and every descent will lead to new adventures. And where only the most determined dwarves, with many lost lives, will be rewarded by the hidden world lying below the stone. So, we are going to load this up. Um, I have got the pre-alpha here. So we'll give it a go, see what we uh, think of it. I have played a very early version, um, possibly last year, I can't remember, but it's been quite a while. This is pre-alpha 0.6. We have a very nice opening uh, scene here, with our dwarf going down into the depths. It's a, it's a two-man program team, I think it was three, I think it did grow to three, I'm not sure if it's still at three. Um, they've got a mus musician, sorry, a pro one programmer, possibly two. There's an artist who's below the stone, who's done all the pixel art. Uh, all Both very talented guys, as is the person doing all the music. It's just, there isn't any options just now, uh, we're just going to go straight into new game. Let me just get rid of this. It's just me testing things. Right, we've got a bit of um, customization here of our dwarf. Uh, we're just going to be called Draven. Um, he looks pretty good as he is. Let's just have a quick flick through. Got the mohawks. Little side sweep there. Fancy hairdo. And the baldy. Right, let's just go for number one. We've got various beard, no beard. Beard, oh, he's got beard beads on. Mine's just too short these days for having beard beads. Nice tosh there. Okay, so we've got five different beards. And let's go for the beard beads. What sort of body is it? Is it coloring? Okay. Oh, a blue dwarf. He's been down in the cold too long. He looks a bit undead, doesn't he? Right, let's just stick with... Um, we'll go with that one, because he's been down in the dark for so long. Uh, we can change the hair colour. Oh. I like all the little highlights and everything. Let's just go for this one. Create the card. 
Are you sure that's how Draven looks like? Yes. The beginning. Right, let's give this a start. Are you ready to go below the stone and make a name for yourself? We sure are. This game is um, procedurally generated, apart from your kingdom, um, which is where we're at just now. Um, we've got our hot bar. We've got a nice bag icon up here. I really like the way these bags open. God, there's been a lot of work put into this um, into the interface. We've got our mining helmet on. Uh, I presume that's his armor resistance too. Yeah, no money. So we need to talk to the Master Explorer, which I guess is this guy. So we use Wazard, and we can look about with the mouse. I'm just taking notes, because he's asked me to put anything I think about. Um... My thoughts on it. So I'll probably be taking notes as I go along. Right, he's highlighted in blue. Let's go over to him and give him a little talk. I like the blue highlight. And I like the speech. Look at the speech bubble coming up. I like all these little, little details. Yes, we've made it. Welcome to the old halls of the Dwarven Kingdom. This area is usually off limits due to hazards. But I have a mission for you. I was planning on sending you to the cave. But we need your help. The blacksmith has gone missing, and he was last seen around here. We've also heard some strange sounds coming from here recently. So listen up, Greeny. My first command to you as head explorer is to find and save the blacksmith. Who else is gonna make our bars? And I have a feeling those noises have something to do with it. Most dwarves have a little bit of a Scottish accent, don't they? Sorry, I've got my massive notepad here. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to write a note here. Okay, right. Uh, oh, speaking of which, you're going to need a good weapon to defend yourself. Unfortunately, all I have is a soup ladle, but I suppose this should be all you need, right? Even then, you're just a recruit. We can always send another one of you down here. But hey, don't sweat it. You'll be do fine. Good luck. So we've got a soup ladle. <laughs> Damage 3, speed 2.5, ancient ladle that filled over 9,000 dwarven plates. So what's this over here? Go over here, inspect. Ah, you just discovered you can interact with some things by clicking on them. Try it on the NPC to your left. Also, some objects can be destroyed with a melee weapon if you help. Okay, so it's just a help message. Okay, so we can click on him rather than do E. Ah. Have you found the blacksmith yet? We're not leaving until you do. And let me tell you, I brought plenty of soup for myself while I wait on you. If you did find them, you can head through that gate. I'm going to stay here and finish my soup. Okay, so we can bash our way through here. Nice effects on the... On the breaking. You can dig through most of the walls, but you can only do that with a pickaxe equipped. Find one and dig through this wall to see where it leads. Okay, so let's go find our pickaxe. Nice swinging action on the leader. What's the little star that's up here? Oh, that, right, that's when we hit those, okay. Let's go turn my headphones up a bit. Oh, I like the background noises, the ambient. Can I not grab this mushroom? I can't. Nice footsteps as well. Let's just smash everything. Eh? Yeah, we're getting some things. We've got a linen cloth. We've got an apple. 
copper ore, coal, mushrooms, tin, and some wood. So I presume I can move these into here. Can I... I wonder if I can... Yeah, I don't have a... Wait, can, can I right click? No. There's no quick way to move stuff over. Okay. Happy New Year, MS Paint. How are you today? Hey, and thank you very much for the resub. That's most appreciated. Um, hot bar. Good bug. You've been having a good time? Let's have a look on here. Various objects could be interacted with by mousing over them and clicking. Others can be hit broken if you have a pickaxe or other melee weapon. Alright. <laughs> what are you doing for your training? Oh, I like the way the chest wobbled there as it was opening. So we now have a pickaxe. You were at a big party with your mates and they don't take it light. <laughs> Oh, we've been taking it pretty easy. We haven't had much to drink, so. Did your son like his presents? Today it was chest and all that stuff, okay. Right, it looks like there's something over here. I can just see a faint wall. You got my... It was a wee fridge, wasn't it? Right, let's... We can break through here. I like the way it... Highlights the wall you're going to break. Okay, can I hold the mouse button in? I can't, right. It's nice that it's different variations on the, the tinging as you hit. It's not all the same noise. Oh, we've got some kobolds over here, it looks like. Yeah, this is Blow the Stones game. Um, yeah, I'm... They've, uh, Blow the Stones sent me the very latest um, the alpha they have. Oh no, I'm under attack. Oh, I like the way he dashes. Oh, and I like the, the red around it. Oh, st <laughs> I like the sounds. Let me close my bag. So, do we have a health? We do. Oh, and it's like mugs. Like beer tunkards. Right, you've got a mace. It's, it's nice they've got different weapons on them. So does the body stay there? It does. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of work gone into it. I really like the pixel art. I like, I like his idle animations and that. And the, the fact that his head is obviously turning as he's running because you can see the light, the helmet moving. I always find this, I don't know if it's just Unity, but with pixel games, you get a bit of movement. I noticed that on Chained Echoes as well. Stuff that's lying on the ground moves about slightly when you're moving the screen. I'm not sure how you stop that. There's a... Um... Sorry, Blowstone's asked me to write, give him any feedback. It's not really tearing, but it's, I don't know, things sort of move slightly while it's repositioning them. But I've seen a few games that do that. Um, uh, pix 2D pixel art games. Oh, that's a lot of kobolds. 
One's got a frying pan. I mean, it doesn't bother me a lot. We, in Chain Echoes, we we decided the crates that were jiggling a wee bit had rats in them. <laughs> we're trying to escape. I don't think you build anything, but you've got a, you've got like a, a kingdom that you can. I think you can maybe build that up a bit. You've got a bank there, and you can up uh, craft weapons, and you've got quests to take on to go down into the procedurally generated dungeons. They ran away because they got hurt. Andrew the programmers put a lot of effort into the AI. I like the fire. There we go. Let's grab this ore here. What happens if I step in the fire? Oh, I can't step in the fire. <laughs> I'm not going to burn myself. I like the fact that chip interactable things highlight in blue when you get near them. And I like the little um, particle effect there. Oh, we found a key. Um, not much. My partner's working until two in the afternoon. And I, 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 we probably are not staying up. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the first year we haven't stayed up, um, but we're both pretty shattered after looking after Baron for the last um, two weeks, because one of us is up, one of us is looking after him the whole time, so you don't get much sleep during the night because he's always trying to be on the go. But he got his stitches out today, so. He's sort of allowed to be getting about the house a bit more. Nice the way the door's opened. Oh, what did we get? Dwarven stout. You're going to with some mates celebrating, but your wife there got COVID, so I stay away. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to catch that. Oh, I wonder what the blue... Is that the... That's the highlight, it's not... I just had it not crazy, just never a good thing being sick. No, it's not, is it? Ah, oh ha. Fuck off, you stinky vile creature. Don't come any closer. I don't let kobolds touch me beard. <laughs> oh, is that a fellow dwarf? What happened to those stinkies outside? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm free to have my dignity back. I get it. Dignity. Why are you looking at me that way? Are you not digging those puns? <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you, my bearded brethren. I used to be a blacksmith. I mean, I am the blacksmith, and I'll be happy to serve your smithing needs. Sniff, sniff. So are you just going to be staying at home, doing your own thing, or...? I can smell some fresh ores, on you, so let's make a deal. Take me back with you to my smith shop, and I'll craft you something nice in return. Deal? Let's head out of here. <laughs> is he going to follow us? Or is he just going to... Wait, we just need to exit the dungeon, okay. Can I do anything with these mushrooms? Yeah. It's nice lighting effects. Do I need to go back to you? Have you found the blacksmith yet? 
We are not leaving until you do, and let me tell you, I brought plenty of soup for myself while I wait on you. If you did find them, you can head through that gate. I'm gonna stay here and finish my soup. <gasps> Let's head through the big gates. Nice sound effects. Okay, here we are in our kingdom. This is our dwarven kingdom. From basically our base. Uh, your son has asked if he could come to me and he was supposed to be with the, your ex, but I said yes, yeah, since he's got no plans. So you're going down to your parents, eating and stuff, and then back streaming on Tuesday, I think. <gasps> oh, I'll be fine though, wouldn't it? It was nice that he wanted to be there. Uh, I'm probably streaming on... I'm meant to be streaming on Monday morning. Uh, I'm playing Dwarf Fortress. So we'll see how that goes. Who's this dude here? He tried that. It's quite difficult. <laughs> it's quite takes a long time to get into. Oh, oxygen not included. Ah, okay. Yeah, I've tried that, but I'm not very good at it. What a nice details in here. Oh, what's all that? Okay, we can't talk to him just now. Here's our smelters. Forges, say. Hey, I was expecting you. What do you have for me today, if anything? Do you have it? Well, do you? Hmm, maybe not. Anyway, let me see what you have. Yeah, there's a lot to that game. Uh, Sulfur Soul plays that a lot. Um, I do have it, but I haven't played many hours. So this is like the crafting, so we can make copper ingots, we can make a crossbow, we can make tin, oh look at all this we can make. I do have it and I've played it briefly, I haven't played it a lot, not out of anything bad with it, I just, I just haven't had the time to play a lot of it, <laughs> as usual. And my schedule got completely thrown out the door this last two weeks. Uh, we've got a bone shaman helmet. We've got copper chest plates. Copper gloves. So we need to find lots more copper. Let's, why don't we do this? Can we just click on here? Oh. There we go. We've got ten copper ingots. That updates really quick, doesn't it? Showing you what, what you can make. So we could make a copper helmet. We've only got 10. We, we could make... We could make that, couldn't we? Where did that go? That went down here. So if I put that on... And if we make a... Mm, we could have a copper sword rather than a helmet. It's got a copper sword. Let's put that there. We don't really need the ladle. Okay, we can make some torches. Let's do this tin. Oh, is tin better than copper? Is it? I shouldn't. No, it's not as good. But we could make we could make gloves and a helmet. Mining four. That's only mining three. How much have we got? Fourteen. Let's make. Um, I'm gonna have an axe. Let's make tin gloves. And a tin helmet. So we can be the tin man. We've still got seven. We could make shoulder pads. Okay, we've got ring slots or accessories. 
Oh, dynamite. We're also going to get iron. I just wonder if it would be better if this... It, you couldn't see... It. What you can make if you haven't had... Like, you shouldn't be able to see the lead if you haven't had lead before. It's because you can see everything there. Hmm. I'll mention that. Right, so we've got a few new things. Um, oh, and I can, you can actually see the armor. Look, he's got. Okay, no problem. You have fun, and thank you again for the, for the V sub. And have a good a good time tomorrow, with your son. What do we have here? Okay, thank you. Oh, who's this? This is like the bunker. Oh, I like the safe. Welcome to the vault, dwarf. Okay, so we can store stuff here, right? So we could store our mining helmet away. So, Because I don't know if you lose anything if you die. Okay, we can unlock... Okay, so we can unlock more space for storing. Let's put our ladle away. We'll keep everything else on this one. Of course, that's all the space we've got. Maybe put this away just now. We'll keep the food on us. This is... Okay. I'm going to be pedantic and just write something. <laughs> Right, um, what else do we have down here? I like the, the arc of the weapon when you're... And that's different to that one, isn't it? Okay, who are you? I've almost mistaken you for an astral fungi. They made a potion out of you. Welcome, little one. It's an elf lady. Mm. Oh, elves and dwarves. I'm an alchemist by profession. And I'm able to prepare you pretty much anything you wish for, as long as you provide the ingredients. Hey, Veru. Good evening. How are you today? I actually haven't done a shout out for MS Paint either. Just do... I'll do MS Paint first. And I'll give you a shout out in a minute. Um, this is Below the Stone. This is what um, Below the Stone, who watches here, what his indie game company is, is writing. And it's getting published by Apogee Entertainment. Oh shit! Uh, so let me just Divine. Hello, hello. Thank do you that. Host. How are you today, my man? There we go. It's called Below the Stone. Let me do very. There we go. <laughs> How are you getting on with Mountain Blade? It's a roguelike, um, dwarven, like a um, it's procedurally generated dungeons, the uh, you've got a mine, f explore, lots of different biomes, um, crafting, it's, um, and it's nice pixel art. So we can make potions here, okay, so we need lava ferns. Okay, I can see why they're maybe not doing that. Oops. You're just learning the new map. 
I, I have got it. I've played it a bit. I played it when it first came out in early access, so I haven't played it a lot yet. Um, Bannerlord. But I did enjoy the previous, the older games a lot. I used to play the multiplayer with my son. What do we do? Oh, who's this guy hiding down here? It's a mage. <laughs> me tricks are tricky, but we me, but we me must be quickly. Okay. For me tricks, you see, may not be sanctioned by the city. All right. So the dwarves. Please do not report me to the guards. <laughs> so he's hiding here. Okay. Right. So we've got this guy down here. Yeah. He looks as though he's asleep, doesn't he? Because they blow the stone did all the artwork for this. So this is the foreman. Ah, another young adventurer. An explorer. Or, or gourmand, perhaps. Hmm, pleasure to meet you. Last dwarf of this kingdom. Keep mining sacred and resourceful. We can't let you dig around with the drill pod without making something out of it. Drill fuel is expensive. Here's what we'll do. Pick one or more missions from me and we'll allow you to embark. However, we won't send a drill pod for you unless you complete at least one of the missions. Ah, okay. I think they've changed that. I think you had to complete them all before. So pick carefully and think thrice before heading into the hallowed caves. One more thing. We give extra rewards to dwarves who finish all the missions they pick. I've been clear. Good. Good luck. So we've got like quests that we can do. Um, potential bonuses. So why don't we try... Take that one. But I'm going to do... Let's try and do the copper. We may as well do them all. Let's get some coal as well. So we're going to get some money, a chest with something in it, a, a nice grand chest. Okay, so that's us got his quest. We've got a quest log up here. Nice and clear. Let's head on down into the dungeons, the mines. So they're generating the cave. Everything's procedurally generated. Um, There we go. I like the glow coming off of the mushrooms. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Welcome to the caves. Explore around and see what you find. But remember, you can't leave the caves unless you complete at least one of your missions. Right, so you can see which one's firing at you because he lights up yellow. Whoa. Ow. We've got a slime. I like the slime. He's quite cute. He looks like he's got one tooth. Can I pick these up? Oh, I can't. There's still somebody shooting at me. This is um, possibly going into early access in the second quarter of next year. He's far off the screen. Yeah, you can mine the walls. Let me, um... Can't see any ore there. Oh, here's some ore. <gasps> What's well, glinting? What was that? Oh, I've got a fossil. Let's go see what this th this is in here. Okay, this looks like um, coal. Coal. It looks like we've got maybe tin here. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, what's the journal for? 
Okay, okay, still under development. Oh, nice. Oh, they've got a beastry. Well, they will have a beastry. Yeah. I've been following this for a long time. Very, um, they had it up on Kickstarter back in 2019. Um, but they didn't get funded, so they, they redid the Kickstarter in 21 and they got funded within, I think, the first two days or something. Yeah, I think I need a better pickaxe, don't I? It's got a really big following on their Discord and that. What did we get there? More... What's this? Cobalt head. I like the way the bag opens. That's pretty smart. You've got different armor you can craft. Different weapons. Oh, there's water there. Is that water? Yeah. Oh, I like this puddle. I like this splashing. Oh, there's something over there. So hopefully I can dig copper with my copper pick. This is just more coal. Right, let's head up this way and let's get my sword back out. So there's definitely a cobalt up. Oh, here's another slime. I do like their slimes. I like how they, how they splodge and leave all the goo lying around. Ah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh the, the arrow's actually firing an arc. Very nice. Oh, oh, I didn't. <laughs> wonder if the stout lets you regenerate your health. Oh, what's that? Whoa. Oh, he's cute, isn't he? Oh, it's probably just more cool, isn't it? Uh, we need at least 19 coal so we can get back. So let's just grab that. Right, there's something shining up here. that tin right we need copper though it's a nice map down in the bottom there let me um, put my camera at the other side so it's not in the way there's more coal there Grab that. Whoa, 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 whoa. These, these kobolds with it throwing their spears are, are lethal. Right, let's go in here. There's um, dungeons you can come across in amongst all the caverns. Oh, what's that? I can't do anything with that. Sort of dungeon structures within the caves. Well, oh, that's like a boar. I want to see the boar. <laughs> nice sound effects. Right, what's in here? That's just cool, isn't it? Yeah. Ugh. 
<laughs> we've got some harm. I'm going to use a cobalt. Right. Still got one more cobalt to kill. I was going to put a torch down and see. Okay, get ready to escape because we've finished our mission. So we can press that at any time now to get back to our, our main kingdom base. But I would like to get some copper. I'm not finding any here. Oh, copper. At least the ore is pretty distinguishable between the different types. <laughs> oh no! I was gored to death by a boar. Oh no! Oh no, I lost everything. <laughs> this is why I need to put stuff in the bank. Oh no. Mission's failed. I'm going to have to go down and get stuff again. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to... I need tin and... I'd rather have um, copper and coal. Let's try that. <laughs> Off we go again with our crappy sword. <laughs> Alright, oh, what's this? Oh, I've got my... Oh, no, it's a rusty one. Okay. Well, that's the fossils. I'm not sure what I do with the fossils. No larks. Good evening. How are you? How's your time over in Norway going? Hi, Lena. They're still in Norway. Are you having a good time? I don't have your basket here, I don't know where it is. Lay in wait. Isn't the forbidden blood magic gleaned from those pages? He aspired powers yeah, I don't know. holy and profane. No idea. You want more Look at what treats over there. Met his demise. I think I remember that. What treats? Your daughter's sleeping so well and she's playing with her grandparents every day. That's great. They'll be enjoying um, having you over. I'm glad to hear it's going fine. Yeah, I should really have my... Whoa, there's that boar again. These things are nasty. Can I eat that? Or do I have to cook it? This is a Below the Stones game that they're developing. This is a pre-alpha. Looking forward to streaming again. When do you go back? Yeah, he did the, um, he created the, the channel logo and all that. Ow! Oh, I died again. I don't like these boars. <laughs> Leaving on the second, back home on the fourth. Staying one night in Tokyo. Oh, that'd be nice. 
I've got a school friend, well, somebody I was at school with many, many years ago. She's over in Japan just now with her son uh, for a holiday. I think I might just take one quest. <laughs> Let's take some copper. Oh, I should maybe take that one, though. In case I can't find any... I'm going to take all three. Right. Um, I'm not sure how old her son is. He's, he looked... He looked in his 20s, I think. Yeah, how, how did you get on with the flight? Was she okay in, on it, or was it a hard job keeping her uh, occupied? Or? Oh, I wouldn't sleep. Mm. That's not so good. The bite to Oslo went fine. What's that? So just a little pool of water, maybe. You hear the little noises in the background. What's that? Right, we, we desperately need to find some ore. Is that cobalt or something? So you'll be hoping she... She's better on the way back. Okay. Well, I hope you have a nice, um, nice time. Take all the time you can when she's sleeping. Thanks for dropping in past. Cool. I shall look forward to seeing you streaming again. Oh, I can't dig. I can't do that. Thank you. Oh, I like the little ninja type um, emote. And the same to you, Noax. Let's head up here. Up to the sparkly. Okay, that's tin. Right, we're getting somewhere. We don't want to meet any boars. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on the road. I'm gonna say I died twice to the boars. Right, okay, so let's carry on through here, because we can see there's another tunnel further over to the west. Hi Luna. I don't know where your basket is. I think it must be upstairs. Okay, we've broken through. Oh, what's, what's that? Oh no, it's a boar. Kill the boar, quick. Right, what's in here? This looks like coal. Hi. Right, let's head down to this ore down this way. I lost my torches that I'd made. There's going to be about 50 different biomes, all with their own unique 
flora and fauna. Let's head on down this way. Oh, it's a big spider. That little murmurings put you on the edge the whole time. <laughs> Oh, I did miss something up there, look. Got sparkly over here. Okay, that's our coat done so we can... We probably don't need that pop-up every time. What did you win? I've got Luna in the room somewhere. No playing with my curtain. My green screen. Okay, we've got plenty of coal. There's no copper. This looks like tin. Right. Where else are we going? That was where we were. There's something over here. Still no copper. Whoa! Hi! You okay? I don't have any treats to hear, I'm afraid. I do like the music. Okay. Oh, we're cool. Not that we need it, but we'll take it. Maybe we should go back with that coal. Oh no, it's a boar. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. I forgot they spawned into little ones. Uh, you okay? Mm. You're not happy with Baron just now. Right, let's go down here. That's just more coal, isn't it? It's nice to see that your weapons don't um, have a durability on them. I mean, you lose them anyway when you die, so. Uh, right. Oh, right. It's firing his spears at me. I heard somebody else there, I thought. Yeah, that's my pen. You play with my pen? Oh, cop! No, it's fossils. What was the little magnifying glass that popped up there? Oh, two of them. 
these guys are just a nightmare. Oh no, I died again! I lost everything again. <laughs> I knew I should have went back. <laughs> right. Let's just take the kobolds. We'll forget all this just now. Uh, coal. I'm just going to take the coal and whatever else we find. Yes. <laughs> right, so it's generating the caves, new caves every time. Right, let's try not to die this time to this, these boars. Playing more pain again. Are you going away? Okay. She's been very upset since Baron got injured and um, doesn't want to be with him. Keeps hissing at him. Right, let's see what we can find. Any sparklies? Yeah, it's sparklies. Okay, so we've got enough to get back with the coal. Let's grab this tin. Oh, copper, right. Let's grab this copper. And then we're going back. Right, now we're going back. Let's call the escape pod. I want to see this. What happens? Oh, we have to get there. Alright. Ah. There we go. Incoming. Do we need to... St what happened there? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that was just... That was a bit... I should have taken the cobalt thing. <clears throat> okay, I, can, I don't have to. I don't have to keep clicking. I can just hold the button in. Right. They run. Whoa! Got spider webs on. Oh no! 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 <laughs> It's leaving again. It's left without us. That was very unexpected. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. <laughs> Right, let's just take the coal, do the coal balls and get, and we're bound to get skeletons, aren't we? Let's try again. We must get back once at least. There's definitely a roguelike. Right, ore. Right, we've got some tin and some coal. Oh, we've got a slime. Let's go break through here. Now we have to remember that these respawn as two little babies. Yeah. Oh. 
think he message me. Right, we've got ore up here. Oh, somebody's firing spears. Oh, we've got a boar. No! Get rid of the boar. Oh, no, we've got two boars. No, no. I don't like boars. We keep dying to the boars. Come back. No, don't run away. <laughs> right, can I take those mushrooms here? Okay, you can use the mouse wheel, okay. Just like the hot bar item. He's got his sword. I like the fact they run away when they get hurt. It's more ore over this way. So I'm going to have to get potions, aren't I? That you could get potions from the elf. So I can heal myself up. Uh, what's this? Oh, I can't do that. You can hear the different sound effect. I need a better pick. Okay, I can't do that either. So this is, um... This is below the stone, which is currently being developed. And it should be possibly early access or a demo out second quarter of this next year. It's um, Stroll Art is the developer and Apogee Entertainment of um, Duke Nukem fame is the publisher. I definitely saw something sparkling through here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Look there. Yeah. Okay, I can't do that though. Uh, they're going to be at Parks East in Boston in March, I think it is. If we're going to be lucky enough to be able to go to that. Tin. We could do with more coal so I can actually get out of here. Alive. Let's head down this way. Ah, more coal. Oh, something over here. I don't know if the music stopped or still ambient sounds, but right, this looks like more tin. Um, the wave of mobs coming in at you when you summon the pod is, is new because I, I played a very very early alpha version of this and um, that wasn't in there right there's okay we can do the pod now let me just um, so I'm just keeping notes for feedback Right, let's get this coal here. Uh, 
Right. Shall we summon it here? Let's summon. Right, it's over there. Oh, I don't like the fact I'm going to get stuck in here. Let's go over here. Does it only start coming down when you... Oh no, it leaves. You have to stay in the, in the square. I've got no heal pots. <laughs> oh no, I died again. I haven't made it out a single time yet. Baron Brugger, hello. Welcome to the channel and thank you for the follow. Um, yesterday. How are you today? Let's return to the kingdom with nothing yet again. <laughs> Disaster, disaster. Let's take coal. I'm just doing the one mission. Trying to learn Dwarf Fortress. Ah. Well, you've got, you've probably got at least two people here, here who know Dwarf Fortress quite a lot. So, if you have any questions, ask away. This is um, Below the Stone. This is a game that's currently in development. This is a pre-alpha. It, uh, it is on Steam for wishlisting. Let's see what ore we've got. This is coal, okay. Right, let's head down here. I've left a bit of coal. Uh, the main goal is to build up your little kingdom and explore as far down as you can. There's going to be bosses, boss mobs. Um, the further down you get, down through the different layers, there's, there's going to be about 50 plus biomes, but you'll get different ores and that to make better equipment. It's a roguelike, and so far I haven't managed to get back to town once so far. You can take like three quests at a time, and as long as you complete one of them you can go back. Well, you can summon the, the pod to carry you back up. Uh, I've got the links here, somewhere, there. It's been published by Apogee Entertainment, who released um, Duke Nukem years ago, Max Payne. I've played all of them when they first came out. Alright. I need to get out of here, don't I? I need to go up this way. Oh, but there's ore over here. What's in here? It's definitely worth keeping an eye on. Um, we've got a very talented programmer and a very talented pixel artist. Below the stone. It's very brutal. I haven't managed back yet. <laughs> I think this is my... I've lost count how many times I've died. I, I died three times to boars. Just random boars. <laughs> um, and so far I think I've managed... I've died twice to the end to the escape sequence I haven't managed back yet <laughs> it's meant to be brutal yeah if you don't roguelikes are meant to be very hard so 
I really like the AI on the mobs. It's, it's very different to each one. Right, there's something shiny down here. <gasps> Slime! Ow! And I like the ambient noises and... Right, I've almost got my coal. Yeah, difficulty setting that maybe reduces how many mobs there is on the escape sequence. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. That wasn't in the last demo. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'm just going to call the, the, the pod. And then suddenly all these mobs came out of nowhere. And you can't leave the square. Well, you can't, but the countdown starts to, to go down again. Right. Here we go. Let me open this up again. I need to try and get something back to the kingdom. I had all nice copper armor and everything. And then I lost it all. Right. Call the pod. Now I've got my rusty sword. Come on then. Oh, I need to get the spider because... Ow. Can I not pick that sword up? No. Ow. Oh, I'm webbed. No, I got bumped out of the thing. Oh, no, I died again. <laughs> oh, you need to balance the enemies, yeah. I stop, I'm getting hit too much, aren't I? <laughs> Any game that isn't specifically trying to extract a hardcore audience from... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. It's leaving without me. It's going to leave my dead body here. Maybe the sword shouldn't rotate when you're dead. So I, I have been taking notes. Labs, good evening. How are you today? I'm gonna give you a shout out as well. Oops. <laughs> it's just adding insult to injury because I can't hit anything. Right. Let's let's see what. What, what what do I have in my vault? Look look how little I've got in my vault. Nothing. Tin. Oh, can I make something from two tin? Oh, I could have... Oh, I've got a new helmet. Okay. Can I make anything from two tin? Oh, I, I, I haven't managed to make it back yet out of the dungeon. <laughs> oh, I could make a tin. That does four. That does four. Well, let's just make that. Let's... I presume you get... I probably don't need to put that away, but I'm going to anyway. Right. Yeah, it should... It, it would probably be better having... Oh, I haven't done a quest, have I? The mobs from that level that you've just that you've just been exploring. Um, let's take the coal because I know I can get coal, and we've been finding tin.
there. You're just not used to it, are you? Because you've been fighting the same sort of level mobs all the time on that level and then suddenly you get um, walked by something unexpected. Alright, let's get our coal here. Oh, I can't do that one, of course. Right. Uh, I've been okay, I'm just very tired. Um, neither of us have been sleeping great, because we're looking after Barn the whole time. Right. I've got some tin. Yeah, you're right, very. Aye. This would, would be quite a nice bonus, wouldn't it, if they dropped quite a lot of nice stuff um, at the end sequence there. Yeah, Barn's doing fine. He's fast asleep just now, so he'll probably be up most of the night. <laughs> so. He's managing. He's managing on his three legs. So he got his stitches out today. But we have to keep an eye on him for the next seven days or so and make sure he doesn't try and bite the area too much or clean it too much. <laughs> okay, Vero, thanks for dropping in past. Uh, you sleep well, take care. We shall catch you another time. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit late for me streaming, but it's fine. Yeah, I, I'm, I need to be up at five tomorrow. My partner's working, so. So I, I, we're heading off to bed in about 40 minutes. <laughs> I was just looking back at something. I was going to say below the stone, Baron has Baron Roger has added the game to his wish list. I have been taking notes. Yes, I have my my notepad here. With a tally of deaths on it as well. <laughs> right, where's the sparkly? Can't see any sparklies there. Let's head back this way. Right, let's break through here. Oh, what's this? Tin. Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. No, there's two of them. Come back here. They just come out of nowhere. <laughs> hey, Blue Pin, how are you today? I apologise for not managing to do the stream at um, Eggnog. Uh, I was I had that scheduled in just before Christmas, um, but things happened. So. <laughs> I had to cancel all my streams. Uh, 
I shall reschedule in. Let's get Grabus coal here. That is uh, meant to be very early enemies you run into, okay. Yeah, because they wouldn't be too far under the ground, would they? Oh, of course. I just had a, I just, sorry. I'll, I'll tell you this tomorrow. I've just had a, a I've just had, <laughs> I've just had a, a thought. What it is. I'm going to write it down before I forget. There we go. I just had an idea. Right, we've got more coal here. Has to get rid oh, look. I should really summon the thing and die again, shouldn't I? Right, so we're going to try this again. <laughs> right, sword at the ready, not that it's a great sword. Hold on, that does four. No, yeah, four, right. Yeah, let's have the sword. Oh! Am I not reading this? Am I? What's that for? Digging tip. There's an object blocking your way. There's a good chance you can break it. Alright, okay. I've only got one health. Whoa! That was just brutal, brutal. It didn't. I was I was gonna defeat them all that time with my one health. Right, we keep finding lots of tin, let's do that in the cobalts. I would have managed it that time. It's just met I've got a message in. It says Alright. I do like Look, 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 you killed me last time. Where are you? I like the little cobalt sounds in the distance when they're nearby. So you know there's actually a cobalt nearby. Is it okay? Is it like a fixed time to get there, or it goes at a certain speed? I do like the way they, they arc. What would be nice is if you could like Whoa Don't Got slime in there, sorry. Um if you could sort of hit the spear just as it gets to you. Boom boom. If you've got quick enough reactions, which I don't, but um Deflect it with your sword. Can I go down here? Yeah. There was a sparkly here. Oh, and I can't dig that either. Right. With my crappy pick.
sparkly. There was definitely a sparkly down this way, wasn't there? Well, I just noticed the heart beating. That's a nice little touch. Oh, it's coal. Right, I found coal. Oh, here's Mr. Mace. No, he's got his frying pan. Uh, maybe something to grab your attention. Even if, even if just this sort of pulsated a bit red or something. Not the whole screen. Just that area. I don't know. Right, let's get Mr. Pancake Man here. Come back with my frying pan. Oh no, what's it? No, 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 it's two boars. It's a oh, single boar, right. Oh, I got the boar. Is that me down to no health? <laughs> what was I going to write? Um... Yeah, I think I'm at one hit point. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. It's... Oh, I know what I was going to write. Yeah. No, I don't want to stand there, though. Let's do that one down here. Oh, I hope I can read my writing tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that, I think I would. Uh, yeah, it's better with just a visual thing and not too, too in your face. There's... Oh, I've got how many of them have I got here? Oh no, and I've got two boars. Come back here! Don't run away! Got you. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> how do you, how do you get further down? Do you, do you find somewhere to, to go to another layer? Another, uh, or do you just just explore further to get to the different biomes. Or is, is it all just on the one layer? I can't remember now. Let's do that one. It's just all on one layer, isn't it? And then you go to different biomes the further away, the further you explore. I think, from memory make the number of health appear on hovering on the health. Yeah, yeah that would be a good idea. Just if I hovered over here, you could see. Yeah. Okay. So it, it pushes you to explore, doesn't it? Which is, is, is what you want. Right, there's coal here. I have to, I have to get back once. <laughs> I thought there was ore here, but I'm not finding it. Let's just head over here. Oh, look, there's the sparkly. I'm presuming the better the pick, 
the quicker it'll probably mine. The the lower quality stuff. Which is a bit like how Minecraft works. <laughs> they do want me to escape once. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense that way. I have about another 15 minutes. So hopefully we'll make it out once. This Lots of ore down this way. <laughs> Maybe the secret is to run out of the square and try and lure them out for a bit. Not have to have them all in the middle. I know the timer starts to reset, but you're probably going to have to do it that way. Try and get them out, lure them away a bit. Yeah, okay, I've run out of the square. Right, here we go. Look, I didn't want to get hit. Okay. I, I got to 96% on my first attempt and then died. Where are they? Oh, here we go. It's the ones that charge in at you that are the, are the problem ones like that. Because <laughs> as you're strafe around them all, you get the odd one that, that does like a charge attack at you. And they're very difficult to dodge. Right. Eight coal. I'm just doing the coal. It, 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 you definitely feel that you have to keep going, don't you? It's not going to beat me. <laughs> right, let's get this coal here. Hopefully this is coal. I like that little... from the kobolds. I can't get that. The little voices. Hey, but Blue Stone, we're used to playing Dark Souls and Elden Ring, and we're, we're used to Brutal, so it's okay. But it probably needs to be toned down a wee bit. Yeah. A level thing, I mean, if, even if it, was, if it was left at this brutality, but uh, with a difficulty slider, this, this could be the normal. Because, I mean, this is what you expect from a roguelike. You don't expect it to be easy. Whoa, whoa, it's a totty. There's a totty. There's... Ow, ow. I got, 
I got mashed to death by a tarty. That tarty went and got his friends, didn't he? He went and got the two pigs to come and help him. They come charging in there like a spudnik, don't they? Right, let's head up here. I do like your water effect. It's very subtle, isn't it? The, the movement on it. It's nice. No, it's a spear guy again. You just stay away from, with your bone there. Yeah. Right. We only need eight coal. Oh, it's a boar. Ow. Oh, I'm at half health already. Up there. Okay, here's some coal. Okay, just need two more coal. I thought I saw a sparkly down there, but maybe not. <gasps> no, no, no. I'm playing keyboard and mouse, but um, no, you come here. Yeah. Right, I need to find some coal. Oh, oh, oh! Find it! Don't find it! No, I want to see this place. I find one of your structure dungeons. <laughs> Okay, last little quick run, then I will have to call it a night. Speed run. Let's find some coal, quick. Right, coal, coal. Might be coal over here. Oh, I can't break that. Right. <laughs> I'm stuck in this little bit. Right. Let's dig our way out. Oh, what's up here? Oh, I can't get through there. Cool. Right, we found some coal. I just need to not get hurt while I'm um, actually getting my my stuff. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, we've got some spear throwers. Okay, we should get enough coal here. There, right, let's call in the... ...pod.
Can I just sort of stay here? Are they going to come from the rear if I... Oh no! They broke through. Oh, my timer's way back down to... Ow! Whoa, what, what hit me there? Oh. I need a I need to like get a heal pot or something as well. Right. Let's go see what glorious goods I managed to acquire. Just my starting items, like I've got nine wood. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. I was gonna. Um, right. Put that down there. That was a lot of fun. I like that. Let's quit to the main menu. I didn't make any progress. <laughs> I do like this opening screen. It was, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Very much. Pre alpha 0 0.6. So that is below the stone, which is um, developed by Strollart and being published by Apogee Entertainment of uh, Duke Nukem fame which I remember playing years ago um, you're going to be at Parks East in Boston in March uh, you were saying and uh, you were saying there's possibly a demo or early access in the second quarter of next year so hopefully more people will get to try it out because it's good. It's a lot of fun. I like. I really like that. A lot of fun. Um, I let me see if I can find something to read, since we have a few people here. I don't know who's on at this time of night. I'm not usually watching at this time of night. <laughs> Who we got? Um, you want some dwarf fortress? I've got. Unless anybody's got any other suggestions. Who have we got here? Oh, Johnny Isle. Can we read Johnny Isle? Let's read Johnny Isle. I like what Johnny Isle. He's playing um, Eastward, which is an RPG, JRPG that I have got, and it's on my list of play. Um, so let's read read him. Let me see if I can get the name right. Let me see if I've spelt that right. Yeah. There we go. He's playing Eastward. It looks a really good game. Yeah, I've got it and I'm really looking forward to playing it. Um, so thank you all for being here. Thank you for the chatting. Um, Thank you to MS Paint for the resub earlier. Um, and yeah, I shall be back definitely on Monday morning, um, half past five in the morning, probably till about half past eleven. I'm part of the Salford Stall Stream Vester. It's a raid train, so I'm part of that on Monday. Um, so, but until then, um, thank you again for being here. And let us go see John L. Say hello. But you'll take care, be safe, and I shall say bye for now.